Let's do a calculation involving a weak acid, its pKa, and determining the relative concentrations of the acid and base form. So, aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid, has a Ka 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4, a typical weak acid. Now I can put it in solution and then adjust the pH to 4.13. When I do that, what are the relative concentrations of acetyl salicylate, the ion, conjugate base, and acetyl salicylic acid? Well, acetyl salicylic acid looks like this, and this is a relatively complex molecule. The acidic proton, you might guess, is this one. Now in general, we won't make you guess that for complicated molecules. We'll just tell you what the acidic proton is, unless it's very obvious. So here's the acidic proton. I know the acid dissociation constant for the reaction where this proton leaves the molecule is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 4. So the pKa for this proton is minus log of the Ka, or minus log of 3.2 times 10 minus 4, or 3.49. So pKa of 3.49, I'm at a pH very close to that, really, within half a unit. So I'm close, and I know when the pH is equal to the pKa, then the acid and base forms will be equal concentration. So at pH 3.49, I would expect equal concentrations of the acid form and the base form, which I've drawn here the proton removed, and minus oxygen remaining. About equal concentrations, I'm a little bit above, I'm a little bit to the basic side of the pKa, so that means the basic form will slightly predominate. Not a factor of 10. Remember, to get to a full 10 times as much base as acid, you'd have to go to a pH one full unit above the pKa. And we're not one full unit. We'd have to go up to pH 4.49 to get a tenfold difference. So we expect something less than a tenfold difference. Let's actually do the calculation. So here's the acid in the base form, pKa 3.49. Acetyl salicylic acid, acetyl salicylate ion, and the Henderson Hasselbach expression, which tells us the ratio is governed by the difference between the pH and the pKa. In this case, we know these two, so we can solve for this ratio. So let's just do that. Here's the pH minus the pKa is the log. I can solve exactly 0.64 is log of the base form over the acid form. So the base form over the acid form is 10 to the 0.64. And of course, 10 to the 0.64, you can do that on your calculator, is 4.36. So the ratio of base form to acid form is 4.36. There's about four times as much base form as there is acid form. Another way to say that is for every one acid form, you'd have about four of the base form. Not quite 10 to 1, as we predicted. So 1 to 4.36, the base form slightly predominates because the pH is slightly above the pKa.